Hi. Uh, many people have been asking me for quite some time uh, to do this video and uh, show them the Firingi Kali that has just been launched by Suleka. Now, uh, this is the box and uh, it's a very interesting uh, 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 piece. Uh, so far as inks are concerned, fountain pen inks are concerned, because uh, A, because of the get up, B, because of the inks, of course, and C, more than anything else, is because of the story that accompanies this box of inks, the story that has made these inks possible. Apparently, <clears throat> in uh, the early 1930s, when Sulekha had started uh, in a place called Raj Shahi, which is now in Bangladesh. The inks were really made by the ladies of the house. And while they were making these inks, this foreigner, this uh, lady of British origin, uh, who used to, uh, for whatever reason, she was in, uh, she was staying in Raj Shahi at that point in time. Uh, she used to go and she had befriended the ladies of the Moitra family uh, and uh, she was extremely beautiful as a matter of fact we don't know her name but uh, the ladies of the house used to call her Mom. Mom means uh, wax and Mem Sahib is of course Mem Sahab or uh, uh, a lady of foreign origin. So. She, uh, they used to call her Mom Mem Sahib and this Mom Mem Sahib was an artist and she had requested the ladies of the Moitro family to make uh, some inks for her which would be in consonance with the, with her British sensibilities because uh, who preferred more pastel shades, more uh, shades that were less vibrant uh, in uh, th their get up because she wanted to not only to write with these inks but also to uh, you know to paint with these inks and uh, six the formulas for six of these inks were there uh, in the diary of Nonigopal Moitro which has been retrieved and Suleka has made these inks so uh, these are uh, the six colors and uh, I will be writing with one and uh, I, I will also want to make uh, 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 swatches, ink swatches so that uh, you can see the colors. It, it will be a kind of testing of the colors and uh, I hope you enjoy this. So uh, without much ado, we will go about uh, Let's take out the, uh, this is the Firingi Kali Green. Uh, incidentally, these bottles are uh, period pieces. Uh, I hope you can see this. Uh, are you? I don't know whether it's visible or not. Let's hope it's visible. These are beautiful colors actually. Uh, very muted soft colors as a matter of fact there's one that I just love this is orange Now we are 
proceeding to drown. And this, of course, is my favorite. This is the gray, which incidentally was also the favorite of the artist, the lady who had, I mean, we've heard. Uh, I could fill up only one uh, pen with the ink. So, and uh, I uh, filled this up with uh, the brown, the see how uh, the see this is pretty dry the ink But mm, let me just show you the this particular shade because I kind of love it. Where did this go? Ah, here it is. This is the Firingi Kali. I hope you like this. I mean, I love these inks. They also give these uh, picture postcards with the pack, which is which I also thought is a very nice touch. And uh, you can, if you, and they, <coughs> the, 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 there are six picture postcards. These six representing the different colors, the different shades in which the inks are available. They also <coughs> have a book uh, which uh, has the history of uh, Firingi Kali written in it along with uh, a, a kind of a timeline for Suleka. But unfortunately, I don't have it here with me. I don't know where I probably have missed it, misplaced it. But uh, this is it. This is a beautiful uh, box of inks. I mean, I have never come across a box or inks that have been uh, packaged with so much of love and so much of affection and uh, I, I, I just love using them. Uh, though perhaps they are just a shade too soft for my liking because uh, I use the inks only for writing. Uh, I am not a painter myself. but. Uh, these inks are beautiful. The colors, the shades are very, very, very attractive and very, very well placed shades, well uh, differentiated shades. This orange is good. This red is just too good. This is not blood red. This is a softer, more uh, elegant kind of uh, red. This green is also most greens that I come across are very mossy, they are too, too, too towards the dark, the dark uh, shades of green. But this green is very, 
very very kind of a vibrant kind of a green which I like it. But if you were to ask me, I I just love this grey shade. And uh, trust me, when you write it with a pen, this is just far out. This is too good. I mean, I I I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right.